In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to upgrade the firmware on a Panasonic NS700 or a NS1000, even on the NSX systems. So first off, you enter the credentials. Username by default is installer and the password is 1234, but you're forced to change that anyway. Okay, so once you're in, you'll notice the current firmware up the top there. On the right hand side, you hit the hammer. Then on the left, you click on system control and then program update download program and then manual because you'll be manually uploading the firmware which is what I usually do anyway you click on browse and you browse to wherever you saved your firmware once you found it click open and then execute a warning will pop up just letting you know that it will take some time especially if you're doing this remotely I usually always do this remotely so it does work remotely So eventually you will get a success message, you hit OK, then on the left hand side you go to update program file, you will see three options, one of them is time to update which is what I usually use and I can set it to midnight um, and hit apply and OK after I tick that box in the middle there. I'm going to be doing an immediate update. You'll notice that the firmware you're about to upload is the one from today, just to make sure it was successful. Okay. Tick the box, hit apply, and then execute. So let's do an update right now. I'll do a timed update at 11.30. You tick that box, you will get an, a warning saying make sure you've backed up your uh, phone system. I've already done that. Hit apply and then hit execute. And you'll get another warning. The way I can tell that the system's ready to do the update and I can log out, I wait for the immediate icon to be grayed out. Okay, you don't need to save it, just click log out and that'll be ready to do the firmware update at 11.30. Now let's say you did do an immediate update, it will take 15 minutes, literally it does take 15 minutes, I've actually timed it. So once you get the login page back, you log in and you check the firmware at the top there, it will be the latest one that you've just recently loaded. Well I hope this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share it around, thanks.